Hi there, and welcome to the Dreamkeeper channel. Today I'm going to talk about the War of the Worlds, Venus and Mars. So this one is quite strange actually, because I always thought it was like a, an ancient Greek myth. And I've thought about it for years and years. And uh, I've even spoke to people about it. They says it was pretty cool. But then I was looking it up just recently for this video. And uh, I can't find anything about it. So I even asked ChatGPT. It was saying, like, it sounded like a good sci-fi movie that hadn't been made. So I don't know if I've just made it up. <clears throat> or I'm like creating my own kind of mythology or whatever, but it is cool, so I decided I would, I'd just make a video about it anyway, because it, to me it's a theory, it's mythology, it could be plausible, maybe it's not, I don't know, but yeah. So basically, the, the story goes, or the myth goes that I've made up or whatever, yeah, is that, yeah, there was the War of the Worlds, so you had a civilization on Mars, a civilization on Venus, and the two of them were at war. And this was like a, an ancient thing, so like a cosmic battle in ancient times. And uh, they basically, they were pretty evenly matched, and they basically destroyed each other's planets, or not, not completely destroyed them, but made them unlivable. So, what they had to do was they had to call a, a truce, like a, a kind of peace deal, and then they both evacuated, like, well, the people that lived on Venus evacuated, and so did the people on Mars, and they both came to Earth and made, like, a, a truce and a peace deal, and uh, they set up humanity, and that's where we come from. Uh, so there was a few things about this that was actually something not that long ago I was watching that, that made me think about it again because I'd not thought about it for a while and it was a uh, it was a guy he was like a psychic uh, and apparently worked on Project Stargate for like the CIA back in I don't know like the, the 60s or 70s or whatever so he was like a psychic and he could remote view and apparently he was working for the CIA and they were getting them to remote view things all over and what they would do, they would, <clears throat> they would give him like an envelope with coordinates in it and then just ask him what, what he could see at the coordinates and uh, apparently what he could see was a dusty red kind of landscape and there was a big pyramid and there was tall kind of beings inside the pyramid and he says that like he got the feeling that they had sent somebody they'd sent people away to find somewhere to, to basically move to because like it was Mars and uh, their planet was dying so they'd sent out basically like a scouting mission to, to see if they could find another planet to move to and uh, the people that were still left on Mars, they were waiting in the pyramid. They were waiting on news to find out about this, to, to see where they could go to. So when I was watching this and listening to it, it made me think about this story, the, the War of the Worlds, Venus and Mars. So that, that would tie in with what I'm saying. So like Venus and Mars were at war, destroyed each other's planets. They were both unlivable and they had to, to basically evacuate. So he basically said that day that they were, I, I don't know if it's true or no, it's, I think it was uh, someday McGonagall or something like that. Uh, was it Joe? Joe McGonagall maybe? Something like that. And uh, he was like a, a remote viewer, a psychic and whatever, and he says they were in in a pyramid on Mars, evacuating, and uh, he reckoned that could have been like they came to Earth, like what I'm saying. So that is basically what I'm saying. So like the 
they both evacuated Mars, they evacuated Venus, and obviously Earth is in the middle. So they've came to Earth to, to restart their civilization, but as one, as one people. So they made like a a peace deal, a truce, and uh, that's how like Mars doesn't have an atmosphere anymore and no more water or anything like that. And people say you can see ruins on it and stuff. It's all debatable where you can or you can't. Eh? Is there pyramids on Mars? Is there not? Venus is quite interesting as well because it's quite Earth-like. Although it's it's the atmosphere is basically like like what Earth would become if if we if all the carbon dioxide and monoxide and all the chemicals like went a set like way the other way, then it like it'd be acid rain and the water would turn to like acid and all that kind of stuff. So. They were both probably livable at one point, but they've just went to extreme, like Mars lost its atmosphere, lost its water, Venus kept its atmosphere, but it's, it's like went total unlivable, like the waters, it's all like acid rain and the oceans are like, I think it's like some kind of acid or chemicals and stuff. So it, you could see it would be, it could basically it could basically show the future of Earth if we don't get our act together. Uh, but I thought that was interesting. So like, because he was saying you've got the pyramids on Mars and other people talk about it, and then he says he's seen people try to evacuate Mars, and apparently NASA's seen or covering things up on Mars, like ancient ruins and pyramids. And there's also something interesting as well with Mars. Our like uh, body clocks are more in line with the day, the, like the days and weeks and years cycle on Mars than Earth, which I thought was quite interesting. So like we're more in tune with the Mars cycle than what we are with Earth cycle. It's it's not like a a great difference, but there is a slight difference, and they've done studies so. That basically could prove that we did come from Mars, which is quite interesting. Uh, Venus, there's a lot less known about Venus. Uh, you don't really hear too much about it. But to me, I think, uh, I always, like I say, I always thought it was like an ancient Greek myth, like the god Mars and Venus. So that'd be like the masculine and the feminine going to war kind of thing so I always had it in my head that it was a Greek myth but apparently it's no and uh, maybe I've just made it up I don't know <laughs> I'm not really sure about that but uh, it's a really cool interesting theory and a cool story if nothing else and uh, it does to me if there is ruins on Mars maybe there's ruins on Venus maybe again maybe that is maybe it's the truth maybe that's where we came from because there is, we are strange on this planet. The fact that we're probably the only animals that, that need to wear clothes and like build certain kind of environments for ourselves so we can survive. Whereas you think like apes and bears and tigers and lions or whatever, they're all like specifically designed for their environment, whether it be like they're camouflaged or their fur or their hair or whatever, again, they're, they're specifically designed, even the fish, they're designed to swim in the sea. Whereas we, we're quite strange because we don't have fur or hair. We need to like make clothes, we need to wear clothes to keep warm. We need to build certain environments so that we can function properly. Uh, I suppose like the only other thing you could say, maybe like ants or kind of like that, they build their own environment. But like, like kind of mammal wise, I think we're quite unique. And then obviously we are consciousness and our intelligence. So to me, it could be quite possible when you hear all the creation myths and stories that somebody came to Earth for the stars and modified DNA and stuff and all this. So it could be that, that we are, we are the aliens. We are the Martians. We are for Venus which is quite, I think, quite cool, quite interesting, and uh, just a really good story. So that's that anyway for this one. Uh, and again, if you subscribe, thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. 
Uh, but that's basically that, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.